Polish has officially melted off the turd known as the presidential campaign of cackling Cam Harris. You know, this has got to be incredibly disappointing. This has got to be devastating. For two months, Deacons at Woke United Methodist, they have been working around the clock. They have given unlimited overtime to their polishing department in the hopes that they could accomplish the impossible task of making the leader of the cackling choir relatable. They have busted their ass to make Cam Harris appear to be competent. Now, to their credit, for a very brief moment in time, It worked. The Deacons, they were able to make this rancid doodle of a campaign seem appealing. They were able to temporarily convince people that Cam Harris could be their lord and risen queen. Oh, look at this beautiful woman. She's just like you, raised in a middle class home. As a teenager, she had a no-show job at McDonald's. Like you, Cam is very worried about the weather. She is doing her part to ensure that summer no longer exists by flying around the country on her broom instead of using her preferred method of transportation, the school bus. For several weeks, it seemed like Cam Harris had all the momentum. The media, they wanted us to believe that Cam was the new star. They wanted us to forget about the last three and a half years of misery, the last three and a half years of huge embarrassing failure. The media wanted us to believe that Cam Harris was the solution to the problems that she helped create. But like I told you guys back in August, there would come a point where the honeymoon would end and Cam Harris would be expected to perform. And just like I told you back in August, the biggest problem for Cam Harris, she ain't capable of performing. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at KC underscore BTL84. Link to the second channel in the description below. I'll be back on the second channel this afternoon. Topic is yet to be determined. If you have a suggestion, shoot me an email, btlkc84 at gmail.com. Now, if normal people see their dreams turned into reality and Cam Harris loses this election, we will point to a mistake that she made at the beginning of her campaign as the main reason that she lost. This mistake further proves the outright incompetence of Cam Harris. Outside of laughing on command, Cam Harris, she is absolutely useless politically. Even Johnny B. Biden could have gotten this right, and he is still running around looking for the marbles that he lost right before he lost his mind. The biggest mistake that Cam Harris made, and there's been a lot of them, but the biggest mistake she made was selecting Tim Walls as her vice president over Josh Shapiro. Growing up, My dad used to always say, you never send a boy to do a man's job. That is exactly what Cam Harris did when she selected Tim Walls. She chose a man that believes teenage boys have menstrual cycles. She chose a man who puts directions in the men's restroom that shows them how to properly part the Red Sea during their special time of the month. What Cam Harris needed was a running mate who could balance her radicalism. She needed a running mate with a hint of common sense. Someone who could bring her back to reality when she is incessantly rambling about her woke utopia that doesn't exist. Josh Shapiro was the perfect choice. Not only is Josh Shapiro a moderate Democrat, which nowadays... Being a moderate Democrat, that means that you only support the government paying for gender transition for adults instead of offering those same subsidies to toddlers. But not only is Josh Shapiro a moderate, he's the governor of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is without a doubt the most important state in this election. And it's a state that Commander Cam is struggling in because she does not support fracking. Well, Casey, that's not true. Cam loves fracking. Fracking is her favorite word besides flatulence. Cam does enjoy the boodle breeze from the whoopee cushion, you know. Yeah, Cam is lying. I mean, 
saying that she supports fracking now. But up until two months ago, Cam was flying her broom around the country talking about the importance of banning fracking. Good people of Pennsylvania, they're just having a hard time biting into the shit sandwich that Cam is serving. People of Pennsylvania, they're having a hard time believing in this new and improved Cam. And it's not just Pennsylvanians who are skeptical of the commander of the woke army. People living in Michigan, they're not buying her bullshit either. Earlier this week, Andy Cooper, he was hosting his primetime dump at CNN that no one's watching. Now, luckily for Andy, he doesn't have to worry too much about job security. Not his fault that ratings for CNN's primetime lineup are in the pooper. As you guys know, the Cemetery News Network they continue donating woke welfare to the most insufferable, uncharismatic host in the history of television. Katie Roo! Katie Roo! Earlier this week, Andy Cooper was talking with John Queen, the chief correspondent at CNN. Chief? Really? Chief? I thought CNN was the network dedicated to inclusion. No wonder ratings are in the pooper. CNN is alienating Native Americans by calling some old white doofus chief. According to the media, that word is highly offensive. And if you don't believe me, go ask Bill Plaschke. He can't even watch Patrick Mahomes anymore without having an emotional meltdown. Andy Cooper, John Queen, they were talking about Cam Harris losing support in Michigan. Now, what's concerning about this for Commander Cam, the type of voters that she is losing. Cam Harris is not declining with older voters. Hell, she never had their support to begin with. The leader of the Cackle Inquirer, she is now declining with young people. Watch for yourself. Uh, this is from a recent New York Times Siena poll. It shows Donald Trump and the vice president tied, tied among voters' age. Uh, 18 to 29. Joe Biden carried that group by 24 points in 2020 in the exit polls. From being on the ground, remember, when you poll a smaller subgroup in a poll, there's a bigger margin of error. I can't quite believe it's a tie from being on the ground several times in Michigan, but there's no question the vice president is doing better than President Biden was doing earlier this year when a lot of young voters didn't want him to be the candidate anymore. But she's not doing as well as he did back in 2020. If that polling is accurate, this is a disaster of epic proportions for Cam Harris. Typically, Young voters are easy votes for Democrats. When you're 18, 19, 20 years old, the utopia that deacons at Woke United Methodist lie to you about, it sounds very appealing. Hey kid, take out these loans and pay us to indoctrinate you at Woke U. Don't worry kid, we will never make you pay them back. Hey Ben, I know you desperately want to be Jen. Vote for me and I'll make sure Uncle Sam pays for your cucumber removal. When you are young and you don't know shit, it is easy to believe the snake when it's telling you to bite in the forbidden fruit. But as you get older, you quickly understand why the fruit is forbidden to begin with. You're taking a big bite out of Don's lemons. The problem for Cam Harris, her lies are not resonating with young voters. Cam Harris is so incompetent she is so uncharismatic. She's so unconvincing. She can't convince the most naive voters to vote for her. Unfortunately for Commander Cam, it gets even worse. Do you guys remember Gordon Sondland? Gordy was one of the key witnesses in the impeachment trial of the Trumper. Now, during that process, he was infected with a severe case of stage 4 OMB. Orange Man Bad! Due to the severity of his case, Gordon Sondland, he has stated many times publicly that he would never vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> I guess Gordy discharged himself from Woke Memorial Hospital against medical advice because all of a sudden, now that he is not surrounded by doctors like pretend Dr. Jill Biden, Gordon Sondland he seems to be seeing things clearly. Earlier this week, he was a guest on something called The Beat on MSNBC. <laughs> the Beat. <laughs> the Beat. I can only imagine what they're beating on The Beat. I'll give you a hint. 
It starts with a W and rhymes with spanker. The beat is hosted by Ari Melber, a proud deacon at Woke United Methodist. Now, I would imagine that he invited Gordon Sondland on the beat to show viewers at MSNBC that even Republicans aren't voting for Donald Trump. Even Republicans are supporting their lord and risen queen, Cam Harris. But unfortunately for the chief spanker, things didn't exactly go as planned. Watch for yourself. Why was it important for you to say no more Trump because of his January 6th conduct? And do you stand by that? No, I don't stand by it. And I'll tell you why. I've now lived four years under the Biden-Harris policies. And I have to say that those policies are not only becoming an existential threat to our country's way of life, but to our allies as well. So when you, and it this, has is, to, this is, no, so no, Ambassador, me, no. This is, I'll let you finish, Ari, but no, this I is want so to striking. You said it was a no for me after that, I did, after I January did, 6th. I did. And here we are right now. I did. And you're saying it's a yes for you. It is a yes for me. Like I told you guys before, I don't put too much stock into polls. I feel like polls are completely subjective. Conservative media polls, they're going to favor the Trumper, while a poll from MSNBC, it's going to favor Commander Cam. Hell, my inside sources, they tell me when MSNBC conducts a poll with their viewers, they don't even include Trump on the ballot. They just say, will you be voting for Cam Harris? The only two options provided are yes and C. Even though I don't put too much stock in polls, I do have a lot more faith in the betting market. Unlike the media, the sports books, they are doing this for one reason and one reason only. To make money, more specifically, to take your money. The books, they are going to be completely objective when it comes to setting odds for the presidency. If they think Trump's going to win, they're going to have the orange man as the betting favorite. They're not going to place him as the underdog and just give you free money. There's a reason the vast majority of casinos don't go out of business. But according to the betting markets, Donald Trump is now the favorite to win the election. Now, obviously, that could change between now and November, but I think the main reason things are moving in the Trumpers' favor is because of J.D. Vance. This once again proves the outright incompetence of Cam Harris. For weeks, maybe even months now, Cammy and Timmy, They have claimed that J.D. Vance was weird. J.D. Vance was some kind of freak. He comes out on Tuesday night in that debate, and he looks and acts like your next-door neighbor, which further destroyed the already diminished credibility of the cackler. Unless something catastrophic happens, I just don't see a path to victory for Commander Cam. What about you? Is there any way Cam Harris can win this election? Seems like she is declining in every metric. Her selection for vice president, disaster. While J.D. Vance, he is an emerging star. Is it over? Is it over for Cam Harris and Deacons at Woke United Methodist? Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys later.